How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to watch Vinland Saga Season 2, Episode 5. Last episode ended with Thorfinn and Enar becoming best friends. It was a very intense and deep episode where Enar was finally able to look past Thorfinn's past actions. Let's see how their friendship develops from here on. If you'd like to support our channel, our Patreon link is down in the description below. You get early access to all videos that we post onto our YouTube channel, and you get full on carry reactions to the Vinland Saga series. So if you're interested in those, make sure you check it out. Now, on to the anime. Thank you, show. Damn, the act already started. That's him, he has to remember. Yep. セイリョクに派遣を奪われたイングランドであった国をすべの死によって情勢は大きく変動するとは再び剣を交える事態に陥った父親は再びイングランド方面軍の王佐クヌーと江崎のノルマンディから舞い戻り福井を果たしたえそ
おめえの道は血と鉄で切り開くしかねえんだ <laughs> Why are they still standing and looking at him walking towards you? Yeah. Oh, oh damn. The money. Ask for truce? For the truce or he doesn't want the war? Yeah, for the truce. So he gets to keep his area. ほほ。さあ、ウォルタリーティンクティンクティンクティンクティンクティンクティンクティンクティンクティンクティンクティンクティンクティンクティンクティンクティンクティンクティンクティンクティンクティンクティンクティンクティンクティンクティンクティンク
<laughs> the confidence, though. Wow. Damn, can you man? I, like, I can't him. believe the character he's become. <laughs> he's so confident now. Yeah. <gasps> what? He did it. Took him a year? He did it, he did it. Biobots all of it. Oh my god, no way! Yeah. He's he's going for the long game. Holy crap, he's just gonna kill the whole bloodline. There's gonna be no kings after. He's gonna be the king official. He won! He's why so angry, he didn't have to fight. <laughs> He's still mad, I couldn't. <laughs> oh my god, that's so cool! Yo. Unnatural. Yo. Damn. He finally did it. So two years passed. <laughs> oh, he has like a little <laughs> beard. Yeah, he has his beard too. now. Yo. He actually looks like the king now. Oh, I chose. Wow. It's so crazy seeing the character that he's become from when he was first introduced. Yeah. Like I'm saying. I guess also because we didn't really see the in between since they did a time skip. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's crazy. It's insane, actually. Like, he did decide to change, but seeing him now versus even like at the close to the ending of season one, the difference is so crazy. But you would never imagine. Yeah. That. Like the way he speaks and everything, yeah. he's very confident, he's very strategic about like everything he says or does. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like he doesn't let issues get to yeah. his head. Yeah, exactly. That, do you yes, think that he's... doesn't work the way he wants to, yeah. he's planning for the next moves. Do you think he's playing a character right now? Or do you think he's actually like this now? I think that's just him. That's just him yeah. now? Yeah. Because the moment Escala like looked at Canute, he already knew he had to play. This is who he has to be now. Yeah. Yeah. So, wow. That's crazy. That was crazy. Since they did a t uh, like time skip, I wonder if um Thorfinn and NR is going to be like time skip forward now they're going to look different too. Because I think two years passed. Oh, oh, is that what they is, were showing? Is that what was ha just happened? Oh, we don't know. Because I think they sure. showed one, one, one oh one six, and now it's like one oh one eight. Yeah, but we don't know if, um, we don't know if they were like showing one oh one six as in like previous previously. Ah, uh, okay, okay. So mm -hmm. we don't really know mm -hmm. if it time passed for Dorfin, like. It current it, when they were showing Thorfinn, mm -hmm. we don't know if that's the current time Canute's already the king. Oh yeah, that like could they, be maybe it they're too. just showing us how Canute finally got the throne. Mm -hmm. That's pretty crazy though. If like in one episode they did like a two year skip, they yeah they rushed everything pretty quickly. I was expecting this season to be about how he gets the Get, throne, becomes the yeah, like, king, but he right? actually just got the throne <laughs> already. Episode? So now I'm like. What is the season actually about? Yeah, right, because I was thinking that. about him getting the throne. Because I thought yeah. that's how they were setting it up last season mm -hmm. at the end. Yeah. So I thought it was going to be about how he gets it, right? Like his journey to get it. But they just he did it. They, he just did it in one episode. He so now I'm wondering it. where the direction of the season is actually the, going to be fi um, focused on. Maybe it's focused back on Thorfinn and like Vinland or him being a true warrior. I don't know. Like. And this is like a completely different person now. You would never expect he had uh, like yeah. this. I think it's also because he's really calm. So he, he thinks he knows what he he's gonna say, and like yeah. he's using different means. I think mm -hmm. in comparisons to previous um, King leaders and stuff like that, yeah. they would always maybe just fight, just fight mm -hmm. and 
Yeah, basically use brute force or basically. something like that. But he's thinking psychologically. He's fucking with them psychologically, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he right? He's thinking <laughs> different <laughs> strategies to beat them. Yeah. Honestly, which is super funny because Thorkel's like, you'll never, you know, never be able to become king without using blood and blood. iron. Yeah. And literally, he just did it. So Thorkel's angry. Yeah. Because he didn't get to go to war. Yeah. Because yeah, oh, he's just using his, uh, his own yeah. techniques. That's what I'm saying. Slaves. Like, everyone's playing chess and. Canute's play. I mean, everyone else is playing checkers, and Canute's playing chess out yeah, here. <laughs> literally, he's thinking about his every move and everything. Yeah, that's very impressive. It's like it's really funny to see him as the leader. I guess because it almost feels like everyone around him has no brains except him. Yeah, it feels like he's the it only does. one. It kind of felt like you know with Ascalon and his group. It's like they are the leader, and they're the only ones that have brains. Mm-hmm. Like they're the only ones that actually are thinking more than just fighting and who wins from the fight yeah. you know they're thinking ahead of that yeah they're thinking long term basically yeah <laughs> that's crazy three years okay I'll see I'll see <laughs> thanks for watching everyone if you guys enjoyed this video hit the thumbs up it really helps out the channel and if you're new here make sure to hit the subscribe button below we'll see you guys in the next video bye peace